Hey guys, it's Adam. Uh, this particular YouTube channel is about food, family, fun, and fresh veggies. And where do you get those? In the garden, of course. I thought I'd put out a special blog here this week for you. Typically, I'm gonna push out new content every Saturday morning, but it's such a beautiful day. I needed to get out here and get this done. The soil's nice and wet after the rain, so it's easy to pull everything out. So let's get to work. It is time to disassemble the garden, get rid of everything, uh, clean it up and get it winterized here. And I tell you, it was actually a really good year. I actually got one last yield. I mean, it's November next week of some peppers and some tomatoes. So go figure. And it was a, it was a, a blockbuster year actually for the tomatoes. So what I'm doing basically is weeding the entire garden, taking out all the dead plants and one tip uh, that I have to say that worked really well this year was these bamboo sticks for my tomato plants, my pepper plants, uh, that over there behind me, um, that was all for the cucumbers. So the cucumbers grew up, but I kind of did some twine in between them. So if you can get your hands, bamboo is a very invasive plant. Uh, if you plant it, it spreads really quickly. But if you know someone who has bamboo, you go over there, find the dead pieces. And this is beautiful. It's just recycled. You don't have to buy anything from the store, uh, any of the PVC pipes that I've used in the future, um, or these metal green stakes. Don't need them anymore because bamboo is a perfect thing for your tomato plants, your pepper plants, and to make a trellis for your cucumbers or spaghetti squash or summer squash, anything that grows up like a vine. So uh, this is the inside of my garden. The black paper did amazing also this year. Um, I highly recommend that you put paper down. All you need is some of these green stakes to stake it down so the wind doesn't blow it around, but it really held down the weeding this year. Uh, which if you're not a weeder, I'm not, um, it was perfect for it. Another tip that I found really useful was if you have old towels or you have old clothes, you cut them up into strips and you use these to tie up your tomato and pepper plants. Then you don't have to go to the store and spend money or buy twine or anything or string to hold up your plants. And then at the end of the year, these things, you just take them off and toss them in the trash. Now my garden is all fenced in because of deer, but what I wanna do this year, and I'm gonna to try to do this prior to the winter, if not, it'll be spring and I'll put it on here. Uh, I am going to make this a raised bed with inside the raised bed, if you get my drift. You can see how much exposed wood there is on the sides. I wanna compartmentalize, it's a big word, car, 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 I can't say it now that I said it once. <laughs> Um, car, car, all right, I'm not even gonna try <laughs> to say it. It's early on a Wednesday morning. Forgive me for not being able to say certain words. It's like specific. I have to think about that word before I say it. Otherwise I say Pacific, specific. But basically I'm going to put different raised beds within this so I can kind of reduce the weeding and also make it look prettier. So I'm gonna build raised beds within this particular garden. I'm gonna do that at a later date. But this is the time of year, get rid of it all, weed it all, make sure it looks beautiful and just dirt. And then you're gonna be ready to go into the spring. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my channel. If you want more of this or some recipes, go to weatheringthekitchen.com right below me. Uh, or check out that video right there if you wanna cook something yummy. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. New content gets pushed out every Saturday morning.